Good evening YouTube, we're down here in the valley uh, behind the house. Uh, I was going to do a, a quick little video. Um, my wife thinks I am the strongest and smartest and funniest and most handsome guy God ever created. Um, and I don't care what you guys think because I've got her fooled. So uh, the thing that she finds most attractive about me is I am able to, with a whole lot of uh, sweat and cursing, uh, turn something that looks like this into something that looks like this. So we've got a lot of these areas out here at our house where it is just brush and briars and the thickest, nastiest, uh, just inhospitable, you know, unlivable conditions. We've got deer and, and um, birds and raccoons, squirrels, skunks, armadillos, everything out here. You, you name it, it lives out here. Um, and this is just not very wildlife friendly. Uh, the previous owners just let it grow up really, really badly. And we've gone through and we've cleared up a bunch of the areas to make them look a lot more like this. Matter of fact, you can still see probably some of my logs on the smoke from last night. And the wind is really starting to pick up, so that's kind of scary. But uh, I'll be down here keeping an eye on it. Uh, but, but my plan uh, last night uh, was to get all these briars out of this tree and it just wasn't cooperating with me right out of daylight. Uh, my wife told me that for uh, my birthday she was going to get me uh, spotlights. So I guess that meant that uh, she expects more work out of me. Um, but today I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set up a camera and see how much of this I can get cleared in a couple of hours. It's, uh, it's about 5.45 right now. Uh, sun sets about 7.45. Um, so I don't want to be working after sundown. Um, my wife has also told me that dinner is already ready. So um, that's going to uh, put a little skip in my step to get this done. Um, but basically, I'm just going to go in here, see how much of this I can get cleared before, uh, before sundown. Uh, using a few simple little hand tools. I'm not hooking up the tractor today just because there are some trees in here that I really don't want to uh, come down and the brush hog will not fit between them. So um, we're just going to do this by hand and see how much we can get uh, get taken care of. So let me get my camera set up and we'll start this show. So what we're going to do a majority of this work with, I've got little clippers and a, and a hatchet and a little set of loppers in there that that uh, my wife loves to use, but uh, I'm just going to hook up a, a weed eater here with this brush cutting blade on the top of it. Uh, I got these on Amazon for about 20 bucks for two of them. It's essentially a saw blade with a uh, larger arbor uh, hole to fit this, um, this uh, weed cutter, basically a brush cutter. Um, little click to expand. You can put all sorts of different attachments on this thing. I've got a pole saw and weed, weed eater and just all sorts of cool gadgets that you can hook onto the end of this thing um, and then I'm going to uh, to set this up and we'll start cutting. So YouTube if it looks like you are on a hill it's because you're on a hill. I don't know if you can hear the birds, but there are a lot of birds out here. And we saw six cardinals in this area that we cleared on Saturday. Right after we cleared it, 
chainsaws and brush cutting tools had just cleared, had just turned off, and we had a half a dozen birds just come into their new home and, and just absolutely loved it. Playing around, things that you couldn't, one, you couldn't see it before, and two, the birds couldn't fly in there because it's just this thick briar that, that nothing moves through. I mean, an armadillo, armadillos move through it pretty easily out here. Um, but even they, they are going to appreciate uh, just having more cleared land to, you know, they want coverage. Animals, wildlife wants coverage. They don't want um, inaccessible. So we've got a creek down here behind the house. You can, you can see on the game camera, you can see the deer walking the path that we've made down there. Uh, I ride a dirt bike out here and I've cut some trails with my dirt bike and the, the deer will, will follow those paths naturally uh, just because it's, it's easier on them. You know, they've got less of this junk to go through. They're, they're not going to choose this when they've got this wide open field down here. So um, why the previous owner left this wildlife friendly, I, I don't know, but we're gonna go back to work. where the snakes like to live. Under rocks, under pieces of sheet metal. So I'm always a little leery when I lift up rocks and metal like that. So I don't know how long that bottle's been there. I think the wind just blew it over. But hopefully you guys missed me getting smacked in the face with a limb. So I'll just cut that part out. So um, when, when you're pulling these, these briars out, uh, especially if you've got them as bad and as thick as we do, I mean, they, they grow in clumps of, of hundreds all, all together. Um, but definitely leather gloves definitely long sleeves i could pull my sleeves up and show you all the the scars and 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 scratches and scabs on my on my arms from just stupidly coming out here and and oh i'm just gonna pull a a, a briar or two out of the tree and it turns into a thousand briars out of a thousand trees and I, I just end up with cat scratches all over my arms up and down my legs so um definitely long sleeves uh long pants and leather boots i I was never much of a boot guy, but uh, moving out here, I had one pair of cowboy boots to my name, and they became my, my work boots, my ranch boots out here, and they are absolutely destroyed, but they just keep on ticking, so um, I got another pair of stepping out boots. Uh, I wear those for stepping out. Uh, but long pants, I, um, I found that the nearest... Um, big box supplies tractor parts uh, store has a $12 um, khaki and blue like canvas work pants that um, you're gonna destroy them so spend $12 on them buy them cheap because they're just gonna gonna get destroyed I mean you could go get some Carhartts or some some uh, some of those ripstop jeans but they're eventually just gonna get holes all in them so 
may as well just buy them cheap and throw them on the fire when you're done. So, uh, back to work. So it looks like my battery died in those last few minutes, but just wanted to give you guys a good once over while I still had just a sliver of daylight left uh, to show you the progress. Like I said, didn't take long, uh, but it does take, uh, you know, getting in here with quite a bit of effort. You know, we still have tons of this stuff that we need to get in here and get cleared out. Um, you know, I always make double time whenever, uh, whenever the wife's out here helping me, but tonight it was just me. So, um, you know, we, we got, few hundred square feet of this stuff cleared out and we managed to save some of the trees um, some of the some of the cedar trees we, we really don't care if we save those because they are just obnoxious and my wife is allergic to them uh, we leave a few of them they uh, they sprinkle the landscape but you know good good before and after shots of that same little spot so um, we can we can go a little bit further up into uh, this backyard area behind the house. We've got a lot more of it to do too um, but just uh, just to show you some of the some of the progress that we have made or can make um, We've we've cut little trails through here with uh, with the dirt bikes and and the rhino and um, Done a lot of this stuff by hand um, There there are only a few places where you can drive the tractor through with the shredder behind without taking out some of the trees that we really want to keep so um, there's some before and after. And if you're wondering what we do with our brush piles here, if we are humane and we put them through a wood chipper, no, we, uh, we wait for a nice calm day with a uh, little, little moisture in the ground. And this thing goes up in a fireball full of hate and frustration. So um, kids get out here and roast s'mores and I sit on the tailgate of the truck and drink beer and contain this uh, this fire, make sure it doesn't get out of hand. So that's that's it will ultimately meet its doom that way.